the first thing you notice with a seventh string guitar obviously is the seventh string um, it's supposed to be B but um, my friend from whom I have uh, borrowed hopefully hopefully purloined this guitar um, he tuned it down to A so you have a kind of a drop D thing but with a drop A so you have a very very low bass the neck is huge um, it's very comfortable though I mean it's a thin neck I mean beautiful neck Beautiful craftsmanship. This is a Schechter Diamond series, the Banshee 7A. That's what is written on the headstock with EMG dynamic pickups. I mean, there's a battery here. Now, the presence of a seventh string, an extra string, is so weird. So, so weird. And. High strings. I'm more of a reverb in my soloing type of guy. I mean, it kind of ruins the the heavy metal effect. I mean, you kind of need to take the reverb off. Uh, if we tune it back to uh, B, then the normal stuff. I also love the fact that the neck is so wide <laughs> that you can do those uh, Zach Wild um, <laughs> wide vibratos. <laughs> That low bass sure does add a lot. You get used to it very, very quickly, though. I'd say that. I mean, it's really easy to forget that this is now E and not A. I mean, I'm thinking about this as E, but it's actually B. You still think about it as if it's A because you feel that low strength. I mean, there's a wide distance that where you can bend the note. Awesome, awesome guitar. Just relaying my uh, my thoughts. Thought it would be a nice experiment to try a, a, a truly new experience for me um, right on camera. Just to show you in case you were thinking about buying a seven string guitar and you were wondering how it would feel. I mean, you get used to it really, really quickly. Um, this is missing a D string, by the way, if you can see. Um, I mean, you don't have to take the D string off. The D string is missing. But it really does divide the guitar um, into two parts, like um, a chord part and a soloing part. In case you, uh, I mean, seven strings are a lot. And by taking the D string off, I mean, it's pretty smart because that way you kind of have 
two guitars. I mean, it's 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 a distinct feeling. So it's pretty smart to take the D string off of this guitar. So this is still a six string, in a way, but you get a low um, option for your chords, which is cool. Okay, so <laughs> these are my experiences. I kind of wish that this had a whammy bar. It would be amazing to um, to do a dive bomb on such a low note. Uh, until it's really, really loose and um, and muddy. It sounded interesting. Okay, so uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching me ramble <laughs> about this awesome Shaku guitar. Man, I want to thank my friend. Thank you.